I haven't posted a video in, I believe, three months, and I apologize for that. So, in this video, I'm gonna try to provide a banger video with tons and tons of information for you guys. Um, it's gonna be what I'm doing 2020 with my e-commerce stores and how I'm operating them. In the title, it says two-day shipping, and that's what I'm doing now. So, I'm gonna get into kind of all of that right now. Again, I haven't filmed in like a few months, so I'm probably gonna be a little awkward on the camera. I'll get used to it in a few weeks, but just let's get, let's get this going. So two day shipping, two to five day, depending on what they select. How I'm able to do this? I have found products that I know I can sell for sort of a long amount of time, like maybe six months to a few years. And I know that if I'm gonna be selling them for anywhere more than six months, it's beneficial for myself and my customers to just order them in bulk and fulfill from the US, specifically from California. So how I'm able to do this, I order inventory, have it shipped to a place, I hire people to fulfill the orders. I have it all integrated with my Shopify store, integrated through Shippo, which is a website that you can set up shipping and all that stuff. And it's all automated. All my fulfillment is now automated with the stores that I run with two day shipping. Um, I just placed an order for a new store. Yes, uh, last night it was like 11 or I think it was midnight and I placed an order for 100 units to just test uh, this product, it wasn't too expensive. It was like a thousand bucks for a hundred units and I'm able to sell the product for 40 bucks. So I'm doing that two day shipping to five day shipping again, dependent on what they select. So that is the, I guess, basics of how I'm able to do that. Um, the practical stuff, like how it is actually happening behind the scenes. It's pretty simple. I think if you're doing this and you're just starting out, you can 100% fulfill the orders yourself and just have literally boxes stacked up in your room that's completely fine. Buy a label printer that's a laser label printer so that you don't have to buy ink and then just continuously process your orders while you're selling your products and then you can just have really quick fulfillment time which is amazing for a few reasons i'm going to get into all those in a few minutes but um it's very beneficial for yourself and your customers number one your customer complaints drop tremendously when you have fast shipping times you can get products to customers less than a week which when i drop shipped last year i was having on average i believe my shipping time was 12 business days which was tough because that's like almost three weeks and customers didn't mind it as long as I kept them updated with emails and stuff and my tracking was updated quickly so that they can continuously track where the package was at any given moment. So that was fine. But the issue was that I was competing with people who were fulfilling from the US and they had very, very fast processing times and overall shipping times, which in the end pushed me to have to kind of undercut prices to beat them and have that be the only thing that I had over them, when in reality, people would pay a premium to just get the product quicker. I pay more money for a ton of products just if I can get them quicker. I ordered parts from one of my cars and I paid a lot more for it just so I could get it a few days earlier. A lot of people do this, I do it all the time, so that is one thing that I took into account. And then also a big thing is you build up repeat customers when you're having them buy from you and they get the product in a few days. That is huge because then they take note of that and they most likely will purchase from you again as long as you're treating them right with emails giving them discounts incentivizing them to place more orders and just overall making sure they have a great customer experience because at the end of the day if your customers are not satisfied with your product and your services and how you treat them they will not shop with you and they will not talk about your brand and you won't build a reputable brand long term that way if you are not treating them uh, right, which is what a lot of people do. A lot of people don't even reply to emails, um, customer complaints and all that stuff, which is very, very bad. I strongly suggest you guys take care of your customers because they are what, they're gonna be the ones that make you your money. Like if you treat them right, you will become very wealthy, but if you don't, your business will fail, most likely. So basically what I'm saying is when you have fast shipping times, you can have a more sustainable business and have more satisfied customers rather than customers just being fairly satisfied. When you have fast shipping times, they are immensely satisfied and they are happy that they're getting their product the same week that they purchased it. That is something that I really, really, really am excited that I am able to provide. Another cool thing is when you have US-based fulfillment, you can upsell faster, faster shipping time. So if you wanna do two-day shipping, you can charge $10 and if it costs you seven to do it, there's an extra $3 profit on 
literally just providing a faster shipping time, which normal people who are drop shipping would not be able to do. You can also do next day shipping. Next day shipping can get pretty pricey, but you can also do that as an upsell if someone really, really needs the product by tomorrow. Um, they can place the order and select that shipping method, and then you can make more money on that. So that is one thing that I think is very important. Another th cool thing that I would suggest if you ever do this is you can upsell 24 hour processing. So what happens when you have 24 hour processing as an upsell, what you can do is you can have your average processing time be 48 hours. And if you upsell 24 hour processing, you can add a few dollars onto your overall um, average order value. Let's just say you charge $2.50 $2 cents for 24 hour processing rather than 48 hours, then you can have a little bit more money added on to your overall, again, average order value. So if you're selling a $40 product, they select two day shipping, you make an extra $3 on that, and they also select 24 hour processing, you add an extra $3 to that, that is now $46, just from having a faster processing and a faster shipping time. So that's something really cool that I'm actually able to do since I do have US fulfillment. You would not be able to do that if you have China-based fulfillment because you can't really regulate how fast a product is getting shipped out unless you have good connections with your supplier. So that's basically it for two-day shipping um, with Shopify. It's not that difficult. I think the biggest thing is having a budget and making sure that you can order inventory and still have enough for advertising. A lot of people don't, uh, like they underestimate that. You do need money to still spend on ads even if you're shipping from the US. But it's a good sell point when they click on to your website and see, let's just say you have a banner that says free US based shipping um, three, or free three to five day shipping, something along those lines. Even in your ad copy, you can actually say like US fulfillment, three to five day shipping, stuff like that. It increases your click through rate and your overall conversion rate when you can have and provide US based shipping. But that is going to wrap up this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Um, I'm actually gonna explain a little bit like for a minute where I've been and what I've been up to for the past, I guess four months or something like that. If you're not interested in that, you can drop a like and click off the video. That's completely fine. Um, I appreciate you guys' view. Now, where I've been, I, for the past, I believe in July or August, I opened up a new company. It's a software company. Me and my business partner have been working on that pretty heavily for the past a uh, few months, I guess, four months. That's kind of how long I've been off YouTube. We've been grinding out with that because there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. Um, you know, setting up payment processors, testing, you know, beta testing, getting people to test the software, legitimizing everything, making sure there's no um, security breaches or security bugs or anything along the lines of that. Um, so there's a lot that goes into it that we've been working on developing for the past few months and just perfecting what we're doing so we can put it out to the public and be completely confident in releasing it and not having any issues. Obviously issues still may occur, but we just wanna make sure we're taking care of all of the basic ones um, for now. So that's what I've been up to for the most part, as well as kind of just figuring out like what exactly I want to do with my whole business career and figuring all that stuff out. So, you know, I'm only 19 and I still have a long ways to go. So I've kind of just been um, doing a lot of thinking and I, I also was traveling a lot. I went to Europe for like 10 days. So I've kind of just been, I guess, enjoying myself and also <laughs> working quite a bit. So that's if I'm being honest, like that's what I've been up to. And then obviously my dropshipping stores, I've been running those. But 2020, my main focuses are gonna be the software company. And one brand that I am starting, uh, I believe in two weeks is when I start fulfilling orders. So that, cause I just placed the orders. But that's gonna now wrap up the whole video. Hope you guys again did enjoy. If you did, smash the like button and click that subscribe button below. And I will have everything like my Snapchat, Instagram, all that stuff linked in the description below. If you guys do want to give me a follow, that would be greatly appreciated. I post dropshipping content and kind of answer tons of questions on Instagram as well. So hope you guys enjoy. And again, sorry if I was a little awkward. I, I haven't filmed in a few months, so I have to do some adjusting, but I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.